Have you ever pondered what it truly means to understand the will of the Lord? This question, both profound and personal, guides us on a journey of discovery that can illuminate our path in life. Imagine a traveler, weary and worn, wandering through a vast desert. The scorching sun beats down relentlessly, the dry air tugs at every breath, and the shifting sands provide no firm ground. The traveler is lost, seeking direction, yearning for guidance. This traveler is not unlike us when we find ourselves lost in the desert of life, yearning to understand the will of the Lord. The words from the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verses 17 to 21 can serve as a compass for our traveler and for us. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. These verses, rich in wisdom and guidance, beckon us to seek understanding, to be filled with the Spirit, to express our faith through song and thanksgiving, and to submit to one another in reverence for God. To understand the will of the Lord, we are called to reject ignorance and to seek wisdom. This wisdom is not found in the excesses of the world, symbolized by the wine, but in being filled with the Spirit. The Spirit, like a wellspring in the desert, quenches our spiritual thirst and nourishes our souls. We are then encouraged to speak to ourselves in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. This is not merely about singing or reciting words, but about making melody in our hearts to the Lord. It's about cultivating a state of being where our hearts are tuned to the divine frequency, resonating with love, gratitude, and reverence. We are also called to give thanks always for all things unto God. Gratitude, in its purest form, is a powerful form of prayer. It's recognizing and acknowledging the blessings, big and small, that we receive from God. It's looking at our life in all its complexity and mystery and saying, thank you, Lord. Finally, we are guided to submit ourselves one to another in the fear of God. This is not about fear in the sense of terror or dread, but about reverence, respect, and awe for the divine. It's about recognizing the divine in each other and treating each other with kindness, compassion, and humility. In summary, to understand the will of the Lord, we are guided to seek wisdom, be filled with the Spirit, express our faith through song and gratitude, and treat each other with reverence and respect. By embracing these principles, we can find our way in the desert of life, guided by the divine compass that points us towards the will of the Lord. As our traveler emerges from the desert, guided by the compass of these verses, the scorching sun gives way to a soothing breeze, the dry air yields to the fresh scent of blooming flowers, and the shifting sands transform into a path leading to a verdant oasis. The journey is long, the path challenging, but the destination understanding the will of the Lord is worth every step.